Hey team, welcome back to We Film Things. It's so nice to have you here in the flat. I've just gotten back from the annual trip to Devon. <laughs> good time to stop and take some time to make a little travel video with my recommendations for if you're taking a beach break down to Devon. So let's hit it with tip number one. It has to of course be the beaches. Yes Cornwall has a very rugged coast but don't forget Devon. Devon's got a little something something too. And my favourite three beaches are Hope Cove, Big Brion Sea, and Bantham Beach. You gotta check them out. Number two is a bit weirder, and maybe a little bit more alternative, and certainly not what I expected on the south coast of England. On the banks of the River Dart, you can go and explore Sharpham's Winery, which also makes some delicious cheese and has some excellent food on site. We brought back a bottle of Pinot Noir and we tasted ourselves through five glasses of wine, which is made on the estate, as well as a couple of slices of cheese. It was a beautiful setting and a really, really tasty way to spend an afternoon. Really highly recommended. Number three is going surfing at Bantham Beach. Yes, I get it, Cornwall is much better for surfing than Devon, particularly the south coast of Devon, which isn't particularly well known for surf, but there is one little place which you can go, Bantham Beach. And I'd say Bantham Beach is perfect for beginners and intermediates. It's quite consistent waves down there, and it's a lovely big sandy beach and half moon bay, and so it's quite a safe place to go as well. Really, really recommend going down. Alicia and I had loads of fun. Number four. The water around Devon, as we just said, is pretty flat, but that means it's good for all kinds of other water sports instead of surfing. Sea kayaking, you can go snorkeling around some of the reefs and wrecks out there. Stand up paddle boarding. It's really, really easy actually, and we had loads of fun doing it. We went at a place called Thurlston Beach, and we rented some paddle boards from the beach itself, and it was just super nice, super chilled. Really highly recommend it as a way to spend uh, the afternoon or an evening. It was so much fun. I don't know why we haven't done that before. It's really easy. It's better than it's kayaking. so fun. Yeah. There's a couple of good rivers as well in Devon, like the River Dart, and you can explore those on stand-up paddleboard as well. You don't have to do everything on the sea. Number five, drawing to the end of the list now, is exploring Selcombe. Selcombe is a name that probably everybody knows. It's home to brands like Jack Wills and all kinds of other things. I can't name one off the top of my head. But it's a little town in Devon, and from there you can go shopping for all of those sports brands, check out the old sweet shop for some delicious fudge. And if you've got the time, take the ferry over to the other side of the estuary where there's some beautiful sandy beaches. That was a whistle-stop tour of Devon. I hope that has given you some ideas for what to do on your south coast trip. We had a really, really good time. I really, really actually believe that I belong by the beach all the time, Drake, wasn't it? Don't know if you're one of those people. If you are, I'm jealous if you're about to head off and go. If I missed anything, especially if you're from Devon or you go there regularly, give us a shout right in the comments below. Really interested to know because honestly, I go a lot and I want to know what I'm missing. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, give it a like, and just give us a chat. Whatever that means. Time for me to go. I need to eat something. Anyway, bye guys. Nice to speak to you again. Thank <laughs> you.